Here we go. Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> We're back. Oh, Kai is here. Can you guys hear us? Can you sit down, say, please? Give us a thumbs up or say we can, or shout out, we can hear you if you can hear us. Mm -hmm. Go sit down. Thank you can sit down. I am. I'm going to. All right. Here we go. Can you hear, can you hear us? Let's see. Let's see. Yes. I'm saying yes. Oh, Willa and Lake are live. We can hear you. Yay. Yes, we can. Hi, Willa and Lake. Yay. Hi, Willa and Lake. Okay. Go back. Okay. How many people are there? Uh, I don't know. Okay, you ready, Zappy? I think. Oh, can you go tell me what time it is? Um, it's. 2.59. Oh, we still have a minute to let people join us. I'm going to read the... I'm gonna read the Zephyr thing. loves to read your comments, so if you say hi, he loves to read that you're here. <laughs> I'm going to read the ones that are... Like, hi, Eden. Eden! Oh, good. Hi, Eden. Hi, Eden. Hi, hi Eden. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready to come join me over here, Zeph? I'll tell you what time it is first. Three o'clock. Okay, we're starting. <sighs> Welcome everyone to yoga with Full of Joy Yoga and Lenny and Zephyr. Zephyr. If you have been like us, we've been in the house for about a week now, just taking a few walks here and there into the park. Is anybody else in the same boat as us? A little outdoor time, but not too much. What boat? This <laughs> <laughs> what boat? All right. So today we are going to do this afternoon. We need it to make our hearts happy. It's happy heart yoga. Happy heart yoga. I thought that would be appropriate. Um, because, you know, spending a lot of time inside with the same people, sometimes you need to give yourself a little bit of extra love. So we're going to do that today with our happy heart yoga. And generally I do this class in the month of February and it's an awesome class for heart opening. And we're going to do it today because I think that we can always open our heart and share love and kindness out into the world. What are you looking at? To see if I opened my heart. No. <laughs> no, because you found it. Oh, I found it, yes. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, take your hands like this. <clears throat> We're going to start the way we always do. Hands behind your back, feet in front, and here we go. Are you ready for yoga? If you're ready, then stop your feet and make some noise and stop your feet and make some noise and stop your feet and make some noise and stop. We're also, waking, we're also waking up our feet when we do that. Lift up your legs. Oh, yeah, my feet are still a little dirty. Lean forward. <laughs> are you ready for yoga? If you're ready, then stop your hands and make some noise. Stop your hands and make some noise. Stop your hands and make some noise. And stop. Lift up your arms. All right, let's take a deep breath in. Spread love to your fingertips, all the way from your shoulders to your fingertips as you take that deep breath in, or maybe starting from your heart. Rain those fingers down with a big exhale. Hands and feet. Are you ready for yoga? If you're ready, then stop your hands and stop your feet and make some noise. Stop your hands and stop your feet and make some noise. And stop. Lift up your arms, lift up your legs. Whoa, let's see those beautiful boat poses. And everybody give your knees a squeeze and say hug. hug. Boat. boat, hug, hug. Boat. boat, river. Sandwich, sandwich, sandwich. Pizza, pizza, pizza. pizza. Ready? Pizza. Butterfly. Butterfly, hug. hug. Butterfly. Butterfly. If you've been with me all week, you, you got my little uh, pattern here. So let's see if we can mix it up a little, make it a little trickier today. Fire up a little action inside our bodies. Ready? Pizza. 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 Boat. Butterfly. Butterfly. Boat. This is for you grown-ups too. Pizza. Pizza. Right? You can use a little of this. Butterfly. Butterfly. Hug. Hug. And then crisscross yoga sauce. Crisscross yoga sauce. All right. 
I needed that. Today we are gonna do one of my favorite breathing exercises from my card deck. And I am gonna also give my card deck a little shout out that you can purchase it on my website if you feel like you need to do some of these breathing exercises and mindfulness activities at home. Yep, we're gonna do the heart mudra breath with our friend Stella on the back. All right, heart mudra. So everybody's gonna take your fingers. Yeah, so for the little ones, this is a little tricky. So for the little ones, even if you just make a nice big circle and see what you can do with it, that's fine. You can, see and you if, can make this thing. Yeah, so if you can do a circle, see if you could then scrunch those fingers. And look at that, it turns into a heart. And you don't have to use all your fingers either. You can just use your pointers and your thumb. This so, is my heart. This is my heart. And that's Zephyr's heart. So, right, so you guys make your heart in any way that feels good to you. So first, before we do our breath, can you come sit on your bottom, please? Uh, okay. We're going to look through our heart and imagine that we can see all the friends out there who are doing this yoga with us. So I'm imagining I could see all of you guys through my heart, and I'm sending you all so much love right now it's all coming up i'm sending some to zephyr so send some love through your heart it's notice coming. all your family members who are it's, with you on the rug okay so then we're going to take our heart and put it on our own heart and we're going to do our heart mudra breath so when we open we take a deep breath in we're going to open our heart bring in some love if you feel like you need a lot of love right now and then exhale let's close it up letting that love spread throughout the body. Ready? We're going to do it again. This time we're going to inhale, bring that love into our hearts again. But this time you're going to close it up, but you're going to send that love and kindness out into the world. Let's do one more time. This time when you bring that love into your heart, we're going to spread it through all the body parts in our, from our toes all the way to the tip of our head and to the bottom of our feet. Ready? Inhale. And then exhale wherever you want that love to go, send it there. Awesome job, my friends. All right, shake up those arms. So we're going to do our roly-poly pop in a moment. And again, you know, I always have to fix the camera and all of that. But um, today's yoga class is all gonna, is gonna be all about opening up our heart and doing lots of heart opening stretches. And then just showing our body lots of love and kindness because we can really use extra love and kindness right now. Um, when you're feeling a little uncertain or worried or just doing a whole different schedule than you're used to, we need to show ourselves some love and kindness and be gentle on ourselves. And this goes for kids and grown-ups. All right. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Zephyr's gonna demonstrate the roly poly pop and I'm gonna work the camera. And you ready, Zephy? Here we go. Roly poly pop. There we go. Nice big pop. All right. That was a big one. All right. Oop, you can't see my head. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for after the work. Okay, go. That's fine. Zephyr, oh God, still. Zephyr is going to go to the bathroom, and that's okay because, you know, it's real life here, right? We're all living in our real life. I should have made him go before, but forgot. All right, everybody stand in your mountains. So everybody get a nice, big, tall, strong mountain. We're going to bring some energy to our body with our mountain and volcano. So everybody say mountain. And then we bring our arms down like this, say mountain. And then bring your arms up to the sky and we say mountain. And then bring your palms together. You guys know what we're going to do. So our palms are together above our head. Our legs are together. We rub our hands. All right, here he comes. All right, ready? Oh, boy, he made it. <laughs> Volcano. Nice job, you guys. So let so look at my legs. So I noticed some kids like on pictures and video that people had sent me that you didn't notice that your legs open up nice and wide when we jump. Yeah. yeah. So ready? We're going to do it again. Mountain. Mountain. And then we I go. make it a heart with my hands. Volcano. So it's a love mountain? Yes. Okay. Ready? One it's more time. exploding with love. Exploding with love. See, this is why Zephyr's my partner. Mm -hmm. She's pretty awesome. You ready to explode with more love? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Mountain. 
Pick that one. Make your hand. Okay. A heart. Okay, I got a heart. Ready? Volcano. Oh, so much love overflowing. I love it. And then we're going to do our star pose. Ready? Standing star. Standing star. Oop, twinkling star. <laughs> Shooting star. Shooting star. Shooting star. Shooting star. Can you stand next to me a little bit more? Standing star. Standing star. Dancing star. <laughs> Standing star. And then we do folded star. Oh, that feels great. Reach one arm up to the sky and say twisty star. Lift the other arm up to the sky. Twisty star. Give your family members some upside down smiles. <laughs> and then both hands down. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Walk your hands up nice, nice and slow. Up. And then jump your feet together. Okay. All right. So when I did my happy heart, open heart yoga classes in the month of February, instead of um, using sunshines, we used hearts. So you don't, I didn't tell you ahead of time. So you don't have to use a heart when you do it this time. But if you do it again, do a heart. Find something that you want to use. You can, if you have your sunshine, use your sunshine. So Zephyr, do you want to use a heart or a sunshine? I uh, use. Okay. Wait, so, a big one. All right. Pick your heart. All right. So you can use that. You can use a sun. Or grownups can just. Find something real quick for you to use right now. Whatever you want to use. Or stuffy, right? If you have a stuffy nearby that you love, right? So there's no right or wrong to this. So Zephyr's putting the, the heart on his head. If you have a stuffy, see if you can balance your stuffy on your head. Can I balance? Yeah, he's going to balance the yeah, animal. Well, I'll balance the heart. And if whatever else you guys want to balance, maybe a book, something you love, right? So I'm using the heart, maybe your stuffy, maybe a blankie, whatever it is you have. Balance it on your head. A blanket is really right. easy. Wow. And then we come up on our tippy toes and down on our flat feet. Yeah, so awesome. just some tricks here, balancing whatever it is you love on your head. And then whatever you have in your hand. Yeah. Okay, so Zephyr, let's see if you can pick one or the other. Can you do, no, I'm not going to do both. Fine. Because I'm asking you. Fine. Thank you. All right, take your heart. Zephyr, come back to the mat, please. Look at me. What? I want you to follow. Okay, ready? Take your heart. We're going to put it on all the body parts. Ready? On your belly, on your knees, and your toes, and your shins, and your knees, and your belly, and your back. You know how fast I like to go. You guys ready? Keep up with me. This is all ages, so we got some older kids here. Elbow, shoulder, wrist, shoulder, head, nose, knees, back, nose, head, sky. And then we're going to take a deep breath, and we're going to do our breath. You can do a love breath, whatever you're holding in your hand. Ready? Two hands up. Ready? <sighs> Bringing whatever you love into your body, into your belly. You can do this. Ready? If you don't feel like doing this for the rest today, then you don't need to. Okay. Try to cooperate. Ready? Inhale. <sighs> One more time. Inhale. All right, everybody reach it all the way up to the sky, whatever it is you're holding. I'm going to take a step forward to the front of my mat, and then I'm going to bring it all the way down, and I'm going to get hide it under my mat or put it in front of my mat. All right. So we're going to do um, a few moves to help warm up our body that are part of the sun salutation. Okay, so the sun salutation in yoga is a series of poses that we do to show gratitude and thanks to the sun. I want you to think about what the sun does for us. What does the sun do it gives for us? us light and it gives us warmth. Light and warmth, yep. Then what else happens outside? It's spring tomorrow. What, what have you noticed popping up all over the place? Yeah, so it helps things grow. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the sun. So we're going to do a little sun salutation. And the trees. And the trees. But we're going to do it in a different kind of way with a big heart opening stretch. So the sun salutation is a series of poses that we're all going to do together. And it's we're going to start with a mountain pose at the front of our mat. So let's get to the front of our mat. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. So we're going to take a big inhale, stretching our arms up to the sky like this. 
And then you're going to exhale and you're going to fold your whole body forward. And I'm going to follow Zephyr with the camera. So you're going to see if you can touch your toes, Zephyr. Can you do it? Can you touch your toes? All right. So we're going to come to the front of our mat, touching our toes like this. And we're going to either jump our feet back or step our feet back into a downward dog. So you make a choice. All right. And this feels great. We're going to wag our doggy tail and just shake out our head. Zephyr, come on. You can do this, please. And everybody lift up one leg up to the sky, shake it out, and lift the other leg up to the sky, shake it out. Awesome job. Maybe let's open our heart here. Take one arm and lift it up in our downward dog and give it a little wave. Say, roof, roof. Lift the other arm and give it a little wave. Awesome. All right, we're going to make our body straight as a board. Sorry, my hair's in the way. And that's our plank. And then we're going to come all the way down to our bellies. Are you okay? Yes. That was, oh. that was hard for you? Yes. All right. You can't see your head. I know. I'm going to come right in here. Let's move over a little bit. So now we're on our bellies. So we're going to do a, one of my favorite heart opening poses called Cobra Snake. And we've done this before. So everybody take your palms to the floor like this. You ready? Lift up your head for our baby snake that says, and then push yourself all the way up for community. Queen snake that says, that's our hissing breath. Then we come back down to our baby snake that says, and then we tap our toes for rattlesnake. Awesome job. All right, so this is, we're gonna add something to this. We're gonna add a basket pose because that's one of my favorite heart opening. So we're gonna lift up our feet. So you're gonna make a choice here. So parents, just be really gentle on your own body. Um, I know it's Zephyr's probably planning on doing a basket because he does it every time. So we're gonna make a basket and just be gentle. So you're gonna take one arm. I like to hold the inside, you can hold the outside or the inside. So you make a choice. And then the other one, I'm gonna do the outside today. And see if you can make yourself a big basket. If this doesn't work for you, you're going to do one arm, right? So then you're getting a nice heart opening with just one arm, and you're being really a loving. A broken basket a that, has called, too much, that has too much love flowing out. Yeah, too much love flowing out. So this is our broken basket, but guess what? This is a heart opening just as well. This is a definitely broken basket. And this basket makes our bodies feel really good, and we're being really kind to our bodies. So if this doesn't feel really good to your body, then don't do it, right? Because this is all about loving kindness. Zephyr, you're being love and showing me love and kindness too, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. I have my favorite thing in my basket, which is Zephyr. <laughs> oh, look at that double basket. <laughs> and so, I, I, and, and if for some reason uh, doing this, yeah. You would be in her back. <laughs> I'm on her favorite thing. The, the, oh my the, goodness! Everything right. that, every, everything that you, everything that is, that yeah. counts as everything that you do that you had against is you would be in Persephone's basket and nothing else. Right. So for and, yeah. So that's what our cat. So when I. When you kids get into your family, into your parents' baskets, be really gentle on their bod bodies because we're really working hard to be really sweet and kind and loving to our own bodies and to our family's bodies, right? So everybody who did their basket, you're going to now, we're going to shake out our legs and watch this. We're going to make our legs separate, lay on your belly with me and shake out your legs side to side. And if you want to, to be really kind to your bodies, bring your arms down, turn your head to one side. And bring your legs down. Take a nice deep breath in here. Fill your whole belly with breath and then let it out. Take your head to the other side. Take a deep breath in and let it out. All right. Bring your hands to your mat. And we're going to come up onto our knees here. And we're going to do another really great heart opening stretch called cat and cow. So we're going to be a kitty cat that stretches its back to the sky. Look at your belly say, the cat. meow. The cat's here. That's okay. And then we arch our back like this. And this is our cow that says, 
And then we stretch our back to the sky. You can say. And then we bring our belly down and we say. So we're going to do a heart opening stretch here. So then you're going to straight your, straighten your back out. And we're going to lift up one arm to the sky like this. And this is an awesome heart stretch. And maybe high five your partner. Ready? Big oak. <laughs> Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Okay. Thank you. So, high five. All right, big heart opener. Good. And then bring your hands down. And then we're gonna the do it on the. Side. We're gonna do it on the other side. You ready? Big heart opener. Oh, see if you can reach your partner behind you. Oh, but don't don't pull too hard. Oh, don't pull too hard because that hurts my my shoulder. Turn your hand around. Okay, I'm gonna turn it. Ah, there we go. Got you. All right, bring your hand down. All right, you guys, let's make our backs feel super duper awesome here. And what do you think we're going to go into, Zephyr? What comes next from here? What do you think? Plank. Mm, that's close. We're going to do a downward dog. Ready? Yeah, we're going yeah, to do a downward dog again. Ready? We're going to send our hips all the way up to the sky for our downward dog. Now, we're going to walk up to the front of our mat in a really cool way. So we're going to take one leg, cross it over. Take the other leg, cross it over. Take the other leg, cross it over. And you're going to cross it over really slow, really steady. And then we're going to inhale our arms all the way up. And I'm going to bring this all the way up like this so you can see us. So slow and steady until we're all the way up and your legs are still crossed. Okay. And then we're going to take a big inhale here. I love this. This feels good on my body. And this is really great for your brain, crossing the midline for our brains. Ready? We're going to inhale our arms all the way up. Crossing. Crossing the midline. Ready? Inhale up. And then keeping your legs crossed, exhale back over. Sweep your arms back up. And then exhale back over. And while you're down, take the front leg, put it behind, and now you're crossed again on the other side. Ready? Inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale up. And then hands to your heart. And then take your legs and then shake it all out. All right, so Zephyr and I are going to do um, one partner pose today. It's called open heart. So the thing about this partner pose is that anybody of different sizes can do it, but it's about trust and it's about taking really good care of your partner, right, Zephyr? Mm -hmm. So he's smaller than me. I'm definitely heavier than him, yeah. but definitely, but he's going to be able to hold me up in the way that I teach you to set this up, okay? So Zephyr, we're going to do open heart. So Zephyr, and for those of you who are my age, it's also known as the Titanic pose. So take a step forward because it's from a movie. So, but you don't really know the reference. It's okay. I know what the Titanic is. You do know what the Titanic is. So I'm going to take one foot because there's a movie where somebody stands on the edge of the boat like this. And that's kind of what you're going to be doing with your, with your body. So I'm going to say, I like to get my stance where one foot's forward, one foot back. Because to me, this is like my strong, sturdy pose that I can set up and, and hold him. So then he's going to take his hands back. And we're going to do wrist to wrist. So now Zephyr's going to push his hips forward and lean forward, shoulders back. Yeah, just like that. Look up. Yeah, shoulders back, belly forward. So arch your back a little bit more. So she, yeah, there you go. And this is a great heart opener. Now I'm going to pull him back, right? I got him because he's much lighter, so that was easy. But wait till you see him hold me, right? So you're gonna we're gonna hold wrist to wrist. So set yourself up really strong, Zephyr. You got me. You you good? Bend your knees a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Pull me back a little. Pull my arms up. Yeah. So look at that. He's got me because he's pulling me. How awesome is that? This feels so good. I'm much heavier than him, but he's got me. It's pretty awesome. But no, don't pull me that much. Okay? Don't pull me that much. Ready? Try again. And this feels really good on my shoulders, opening my heart. I want you guys to all try this with each other. And then we're going to pull back. Woo. I was doing this. You did awesome. Give me a high five. I was doing like this. I know, but you were really strong, so thank you. I appreciate it. 
And that feels, Don't want to turn around. <laughs> that feels really good in your chest area. So for those of us who might be spending time on our computers now, right, a lot more time, you're hunched over. So when you do open heart poses, it really helps to open up the chest, the shoulders. And think about how much more love, I'm going to turn this down, how much more love we can let in when our heart is open, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's a fun one, right? It's yes. called open heart. Open heart. So think about how much, can you sit down for me, please? Okay. Think about how much more love we can let in and kindness when our heart is open. Think about how closed you are sitting at the computer hunched, right? And all of us are now a lot more of the day, even our kids, right? Because they're gonna be on tablets a lot more doing their online learning. So think about ways that you can open that heart so you can let the love and kindness and it just feels so much better in this area of your body as opposed to this. All right, we're gonna get ready for relaxation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it is time, my friend. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. What comes first? <laughs> oh, yeah. You forgot. Roly poly. So Zephyr is going to demonstrate three roly polies. Can you do it? Roly poly. Roly poly. Roly poly. And legs up to the sky. Do you, do you want to do partner candle today? Wait, is that in that? No, well, I didn't write it down, but we can do it. So it's next after. That's it, relaxation. Yeah, I am. <laughs> He's following my written yes. lesson plan. I should have written it. Okay, that's fine. So let's all lift our legs to the sky individually, and we're going to do our birthday no, candles, or make this a peace candle, right? I'm going to hold your legs up for you. Or you can do what we've done in the past, where you do partner, where legs up against each other's legs. You guys know that. All right, so we're going to do a little peace candle here. So everybody, wiggle your toes to light your peace candle. I love to do that. And we're going to count backwards from 10. My goodness, your legs are heavy. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As you spread peace and love out into the world. The fire goes out and all of love has trapped this day. Oh, that bursts out. All right, so I know Zephyr likes his red. I pillow. So can we stay on our back today? Will you do that for me, please? Yes. Okay, thank you. Because for you being can, a good demonstration. Because my back is hurt. Okay, great. Can do you want this on your eyes or your belly? Eyes. Eyes. Let's see if you can keep your head straight today, okay? Okay. Maybe put your arms at your side. What do you think? Okay. So here we go with our relaxation. So we're gonna do a little love. What do you need? Because if your hands are behind your head then it's not gonna stay on. So what if you put your hands at your sides today? No. You know, pick your battles, right? All right, so here we go. I'm gonna talk you guys through a little love share meditation. So first, of course, we're gonna do a little chime. So when I ring the chime, get your body calm and still. So relaxed. So today we're going to breathe extra love into our heart. And when I do our body scan, like I always do, we're going to actually really imagine that we're sending love and kindness to all the parts of our body. Really important that we do that. Take care of your body and notice all the parts of your body and maybe even think about what that body part is doing for you all day, every day, right? All right, take a breath in and let it out. Send love and kindness to your toes. Send love and kindness to the bottom of your feet. Send love and kindness to the top of your feet. See if you can be really still. Send love and kindness to your ankles. Send love and kindness to your knees. Send love and kindness to your thighs. Send love and kindness to the back of your legs. Send love and kindness to your belly. Send love and kindness to your chest. Send love and kindness to your back. That holds you up all day, right? 
your spine. Send love and kindness to your shoulders. Send love and kindness to your elbows. Send love and kindness to your wrists. Send love and kindness to your fingers and your hands, right? So many things your hands do for you all day. Send love and kindness to your shoulder, to your neck. <coughs> Send love and kindness into that space between your ears, your brain that's working so hard. Send love and kindness to your forehead and your eyes and your nose and your mouth and your ears, all working so hard. So now we're going to take another breath in. And we're going to send love and kindness out into the world, <coughs> excuse me, to all the people out there who can use it. So you sent it to yourself. Now exhale it out to all those other people out in the world who need our love, right? Excellent job, you guys. I'm gonna ring my chime again. When you hear the sound, thumbs up. When you don't hear the sound anymore, bring your hand down. Everybody wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wiggle your belly, and wiggle your nose. Quietly and gently give your knees a hug and a squeeze, the biggest one ever, and roll all the way up to sit, crisscross yoga sauce on your mat. So it is bright. So if you use the heart, if you use the stuffy, if you use the sun, whatever you use, put your eye pillow on that. I know, you put yours all the way in the back, because that's what you do. All right, here we go. Bring your hands to your heart. You guys know the song. Zephyr's actually going to do it the right way today. Fine. Fine, Fine. I, yeah. I wish I didn't. <laughs> well, you're going to. Rub your hands. Sit up tall. Take a deep breath. And we sing. Um, Om Shanti Shanti Peace. Om Shanti Shanti Peace. Om Shanti Shanti Peace. Remember, we're singing peace, sending it out to the world. Shanti means peace. Bring your hands to your heart. There's light inside me. There's light inside me. There's light inside you. There's light inside you. Together we are one. Yes, and we are one. Namaste. Namaste. Stay. <laughs> peaceful thoughts. Peaceful thoughts. Pe <laughs> oh, peaceful words. Peaceful words. Peaceful heart. Peaceful heart. Good job, Zephyr. Give yourself a big hug. Say, I love myself. I love myself. Mm, and then I love you. I love you. Oh, yeah. Oof. You said I'm not, I'm not supposed to sing it or not yeah. do it. Oh, well, but thank you. I appreciate that you were very <laughs> mostly cooperative today. <laughs> I didn't do it the right way, but I said uh, it. Let's <laughs> thank everybody. Uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you. Sending you love, peace, kindness, joy in the days ahead. Um, Crowdcast has been lovely for me, but it's probably going to Lovely, but it as of next week, most likely I'll be moving to the Zoom model, but we'll see. So this is what I'm going to ask you guys to do. Those of you who registered um, here on Crowdcast, um, just go right over to my website, Full of Joy Yoga, and sign up for my newsletter if you have not done that yet. And I'm going to be sharing on Facebook and Instagram and all my social media and on my newsletter and on my website information for the classes that I'll be doing next week. I'm going to share a schedule really soon. Um, I may do twice a day, but I may move it to once a day. It's, I'm pretty sure I'm going to still do the donation-based model, but we'll see. Maybe I'll have some classes. Will I be in it if it's once a day? We'll see if you want to be. It's up to you. 
I'm not going to make you do it. Except for I'll decide and I'll let you guys know. Um, so maybe sometimes it'll be twice a day. Maybe I'll do like more like mindfulness stuff um, that I do like in the school's mindful yoga breaks. So just stay tuned. There's going to be an ongoing schedule because we know that we're going to be home ongoing. This isn't it, just it. So, you know, it's going to be ongoing. So I'm going to keep offering my classes. I'm so happy to be able to do that. Maybe it'll just continue to stay donation-based or we'll see how it works. Maybe some you have to pay for and some are free or whatever. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, and on Saturday, I am doing, Zephyr and I are going to do a class over at the breathing room as our part of our regular family yoga class that would have been there this weekend. So we're going to do that there and that you will have to pay for through breathing rooms website. And so if you want to join us there, support breathing room, which is the yoga studio where I teach my uh, family classes. I'd love to see you there. Um, tomorrow, join us for Wings and Things Preschoolers and um, Spring Garden in the afternoon to celebrate spring. And uh, thank you again for joining us as always. It's so great to see you here. Days and days of you. And uh, we'll see you again soon. All right. Fulloflyoga.com. Don't forget. You didn't say right. that was super fun. All right. Glad you liked it, Eden. Bye.